Hey guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. For today, pag-uusapan natin ang bagong entry-level smartphone from Infinix. Actually, medyo familiar na kayo dito, pero yeah, this is the Infinix Hot 11 2022. Actually, on this video, medyo raw yung makikita nyo. In a sense na first impressions ito, literal na first impressions dahil ngayon ko lang makikita yung itsura niya. The box is still very sealed, so yep. Excited ako kasi maganda yung um, reviews about this device in other countries. And considering its price point, napakamura niya, no? You can get it for 5,299 pesos para sa kanyang introductory price, which will be available this August 3T sa Lazada. I mean, yeah, mura siya. Siyempre, isa siyang entry-level phone. Pero kasi considering yung specifications na meron na itong device na to, medyo nakakagulat. Ang pinaka-highlight kasi guys ng specification ng phone na to is meron siyang full HD plus display which is, I think, no, very rare for empty level smartphones or any devices at this price point. So, yep, huwag na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Unbox na natin at alamin natin kung ano yung mga pwede niyong makuha once you purchase this Infinix Hot 11 2022. As you can see, with its packaging, it's your typical Infinix smartphone na nasa green box. And kung makikita nyo ito, it's the 2022 version. And of course, yung sinasabi ko nga sa inyo na 6.7 inch Full HD Plus display. Hindi ko alam kung bakit guys, pero medyo kinakabahan ako sa video na to. Probably because I rarely do first impressions video now. Kung baga sa lahat ng videos natin, alam ko na yung itsura, alam ko na yung dapat i-expect sa kanya. But with this device, alam ko lang na maganda yung display niya. That's it. By the way, kung mapapansin nyo rin pala na may mga naka-embose na letter doon sa box. I can't figure it out kung ano. Pero yup, ayan, meron siya kapag ka tinitilt natin. Okay, ayan na siya. Medyo smaller yung kanyang size, no? Compared sa ibang Infinix boxes na nakikita natin. So, we got here the phone itself. So, yes, yung colorway na meron tayo is the Sunset Gold. Also available in green and black. Pero wow, ang ganda. In fairness, ha? It really is very gold. May kasama siyang jelly case and it is the clear one. Ayan siya, guys. Siyempre, meron din tayo nung kanyang mga paperworks. We got a very tiny power brick as in, ang liit lang niya, guys. Ayan, comparison sa kamay ko, medyo naloka ako doon. And of course, it is USB Type-C since yung cable niya is USB Type-C then, so good news, even though na entry level lang siya, it is USB Type C. Okay, so ito na yung Infinix Hot 11 2022, no? And in fairness, medyo bago sa paningin ko yung kanyang itsura. Because if you remember from before, yung kanilang Infinix Hot 11 series talaga ay parang rectangular yung kanilang camera setup. But this time, very modern. Pa square na siya and as you can see meron siyang dalawang cameras here. Actually it might give you the illusion na may tatlo siyang cameras pero ayun, dalawa lamang at meron siyang LED flash kasi doon sa katabi niya. Anyway, just like any other entry level phones ano, it is polycarbonate plastic. From the feel pa lang naman din guys, it is very plastic pero by the look of it no, lalo na dito sa ating camera very elegant siyang tignan. Lalo na yung mga strikes niya na pa-diagonal every time na may nag na ilaw sa kanya. So yes, it is a very elegant looking smartphone for a device worth 5,000 plus pesos. Anyway, since it is not matte, it is a very fingerprint magnet, especially dito sa gold colorway na meron tayo. Isa pa pala sa na-notice ko sa device is, of course, the weight. For a plastic device, it's on the heavier side. It is 199.6 grams. So yes, it really is almost 200 grams. And this is probably because of some factors katulad ng malaki niyang display and of course the battery capacity. Now when it comes to the feel, medyo may pagka-sharp yung edges niya. May pagka-flat kasi guys yung kanyang mga gilid. But when it comes doon sa kanyang mga uh, sulok, curved pa rin naman. So it's not entirely flat. 
I don't wanna overhype this phone, pero we have to consider na abot kaya naman talaga yung price point niya. And nasa design pa lang tayo, kumbaga physical aspect pa lang pinag-uusapan, parang ko, hindi ka natalo. We all know I rarely review budget or entry-level phones nowadays, pero impressed talaga ako sa device na to dahil una, yung headphone jack niya is located sa upper part ng ating phone, making it more convenient to use, lalo na kapag tayo ay nag-games. Bukod pa doon, no, it is also USB Type-C, meron siyang speaker grill, and of course, the microphone below. Next, it also has the volume rockers and the fingerprint button sa kanyang pinaka-kanan. Anyway, may SIM tool pala tayo sa box. I forgot to mention yung ating panundot. It's the basic or typical SIM tools that we get from budget devices. And yup, tinignan ko guys yung ating SIM tray. It is... Dual SIM and expandable via micro SD card. So yes, overall design wise, guys, na shock talaga ako dahil hindi ko ina expect na sa ganitong price point pwede kayo makakuha ng ganitong smartphone. Again, if you will look at it, mukha siyang 8,000 peso phone. Ngayon, usapang display na tayo. I did mention earlier, guys, on the first part of our video na may Full HD Plus nga itong smartphone na to, which is very rare na makuha natin sa mga entry-level phones. To be exact, meron itong 6.7 inches IPS LCD display na merong 1080 by 2400 pixels resolution. So yes, resolution-wise, parehas lang doon sa nakita natin from the Infinix 12 Pro. So far, ano guys, after setting up the device, para sa aking first impressions, okay naman yung kanyang uh, sharpness and of course yung text. Very viewable, even of course na medyo maliwanag sa ating studio. Hindi naman ako na-disappoint for this device for lacking high refresh rate or yung kanyang thick bezels. Again guys, let's always consider yung price point or yung presyo na binabayad natin sa phone. Usually yung mga ganong phones na may ganong features, really is priced at 8,000 pesos pataas. When it comes to multimedia consumption, it really is performing good as compared to other phones or among the phones guys na merong 64 gig and 4 gig of RAM um, storage, it has a color accurate display. So kung isa kayo sa mga naghahanap ng smartphones na hindi masyadong masakit sa bulsa pero priority nyo yung ganda ng itsura ng device and of course yung linaw nung inyong pinapanood, then you might want to consider this new entry level phone from Infinix. Anyway, meron din itong 5,000 mAh of battery capacity. Again, that's big enough for a phone priced at this point. As of the moment, guys, hindi ko pa masyadong natitest yung battery life ng Infinix Hot 11 2022, no? Since again, kaka-open pa lang natin today. But I'm glad na upgraded na yung ating before na micro USB to USB Type-C charging. Making of course the charging capability a bit faster as it used to be. Which is of course dapat lang din naman guys dahil hindi na po tayo dapat bumibili ng smartphones na naka micro USB pa. Lalong lalo na sa taong 2022. In terms of the cameras naman, Meron siyang dual camera setup with 13 megapixels and 2 megapixels depth sensor and an 8 megapixels front camera. Both naman guys, yung front and yung ating rear camera is capable of shooting 1080p videos. So far, okay and tolerable naman guys yung mga camera photos or shots taken by the Infinix Hot 11 today. Again, this may not be yung pinaka-selling point ng device but I can say that they are tolerable. When it comes sa kanyang mismong camera menu, medyo iba siya, no guys? Kung ikukumpara natin sa mga um, menu or user interface na nakikita natin sa ibang Infinix smartphones, this is because yung kanyang operating system guys is Android 11 and the skin is XOS 6 7.6. Hindi naman ganon kadami yung bloatwar niya, pero may iilan din guys, ano? So you might wanna delete some of the applications na hindi naman masyadong kikilanganin considering na meron siyang 4 gig of RAM. Para kahit pa paano mas mapabilis yung ating paggamit sa kanya for everyday. 
speaking of this, ano guys, yung ating uh, storage is 64 gig lamang, but it is expandable up to 256 gig of SD card. Lastly, guys, I forgot to mention yung chipset na meron tayo dito sa bagong Infinix Hot 11. It has the Unisoc T610 gaming processor. Kung maaalala niyo yung predecessor ng phone na to, which is still called Infinix Hot 11, but of course, not the 2022 version, that one has the MediaTek Helio G70. Hindi ako masyadong aware or familiar as of the moment when it comes to their difference kung may improvement ba tayo or wala. So far naman guys, I noticed that this phone can handle a few basic tasks such as browsing yung ating internet, social media applications. Although, aminado ko, there are times na medyo sluggish yung device, especially when it comes to you know, downloading applications and yung paglipat-lipat ko between apps. Siguro overall guys, if I were to give my verdict, our early verdict as of the moment, actually hindi ko nga to masasabi since first impressions pa lang to, but if I were to give you guys my opinion as of now, I can say that this can be a perfect first smartphone para doon sa mga, of course, may mga online class pa rin kahit na alam natin namang may face-to-face -face na hindi masyadong mabigat sa bulsa. Lalong-lalo na if ang top priority nyo ay mahabang battery life, syempre magandang design, at pangatlo, very appealing display. Speaking of the display, ano guys, syempre may mga konting drawbacks naman din yung smartphone, katulad ng kanyang brightness. Merong improvement from previous pero maliit lang. So yes, there are times na yung viewing angles niya ay hindi ganun kaganda. But again, sharpness wise, malinaw na malinaw because of its resolution. So yeah, that's pretty much it para sa ating unboxing, hands-on and first impressions ng Infinix Hot 11 2022. Pasensya na if this is not yet the full review but then again, I hope kahit papano ay nabigyan kayo ng idea if you should be getting this device. Anyway, the link kung saan nyo pwedeng ma-purchase itong device na to will be put down below. And of course, good news sa mga nag-aabang. Yes guys, so we will be giving away this new Infinix Hot 11 2022 to one lucky winner. Actually, bonus na lang ito if you reach the end of this video. Kasi alam nyo na, makakasali kayo and may chance kayong makakuha nitong bago nilang entry-level phone. Actually, the mechanics is very easy. Ayoko na kayong pahirapan pa. All you need to do is share this video sa inyong Facebook account. It must be in public. And use the hashtag MaryXInfinixHot11 2022 para madali kong maklik yung hashtag at madali kong mapili yung ating magiging winner. I'll be announcing it, guys, before the month ends. So, yep, make sure na ma-share nyo to on Facebook. Balik, eskwela giveaway natin to, guys. So, sana yung manalo ay estudyante. Again, it's your tech, Girl Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye, guys!